grilling season, and the Ram truck brand is serving up some hot new front end sizzle with the launch of the 2016 Ram Rebel at the Warren Truck Assembly Plant, June 15th. The unique bold look of the new Rebel Grill continues a nearly six decade design tradition of separating the brand from the rest of the pack. They actually started out just being the same grills as there were on the passenger cars because the trucks were built on passenger car chassis. Uh, it wasn't until 1929 that we built a specific pickup truck um, that was not based on a passenger car chassis. In the 1950s is when we, when we uh, adopted a truck only front grill and the whole front fascia. Uh, and then it started changing every two to three years. It might just be the grill insert that would change uh, or a headlight change or, maybe, uh, or the, the parking lights would change. So you're driving down the road. You couldn't tell the difference between a 1972 or 74 Dodge truck. In 1994, we brought out the Ram with the grill, the crossbar. The designers and the marketing and the, and the Ram truck people said, you know, let's do something different. And we did and brought it out. You know, it really shook the truck market. And all of a sudden we had 15% of the market within a couple of years. When Ram split with the Dodge brand, um, they really brought in a, a real fresh look to the, the grill. Um, you know, they, the crossbar grill was still there, uh, but the inserts changed, the shape of the grill changed. It's really been an evolution over the years. And it kicked up yet another notch when Ram again looked to the grill masters to unleash their creative energy on the Rebel and the soon to launch Laramie Limited. We wanted to see how much further we could go with it and really play up the Ram brand identity to separate it from Dodge. There's a, there's a beard craze going on right now. Maybe if your truck had a beard, what would it look like? It's a design exercise, but also a personality exercise. So on the Rebel side, that was sort of how I approached it. That was our task, to create something that's really new and fresh and bold, um, but I, in, in the case of the Limited Grill, something that's also very premium. In the case of the Rebel Grill, that's something that's very sort of tough and rebellious. The truck market is one of the most conservative design-wise markets in the world, the American truck market especially. Truck buyers are very loyal um, and they want to make sure the truck that they're buying has that identity that they're loyal to. With the Rebel Grill we looked at mechanical off-road elements. The brand has a certain image, certain style that um, you, you have to be very careful which way you take it. You don't want to create something that all of a sudden alienates customers. But at the same time, you want to take some risks. You have to immerse yourself in the truck culture and, um, and really look at what else is on the road um, and try and glean from that, you know, what is that next step that maybe this guy that hasn't considered a Ram product will now respond to. So that was our, that was our challenge, yeah. And I'm, I'm pretty happy with the way that it turned out. Once the sketch is there, that's really the one. You know, you know it's the one. You know, you, you, you it stands out. This was a team effort. The entire company uh, jumps into these programs. We worked heavily with the Aero team. They've got to make sure that they cool. So even though we're designing a very new and, and cool-looking grill, it's got to be able to cool the motors. Otherwise, it's not going to be value added for the customers. At the end of the day, you're creating the the vision for the brand, you know, you're trying to move this brand into the future. So it's a, it's a very exciting thing from, for everyone, you know, that's involved. This isn't something that we're doing to all of the trucks. This is something that we're just uh, delving into as a starting point and then, you know, seeing if we can even evolve it from there.